Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien speaking on Sunday, April 28th. Bubba is uh, over here just trying to see what the day is. He's at his usual spot. Uh, and like he said, we'll talk to you about TAP in May. Uh, but today, I wanted to end my subject, impeachment which I've been talking to you for most of April. Uh, and my video, I wanted to call it Impeachment. It's a tough road and a tough decision. You need backbone. So impeachment, tough to do. And so here we go. Yes, you notice most... Uh, dum-dums, as I call the Democrats, are now saying that, hey, uh, we were a little hasty on impeachment here. But see, the problem is, they're lying to you, Americans. They want to impeach President Trump with all their might. But, politically, they know they're in a rock and a hard place. Uh, because they, uh, don't, they were counting on the Russia investigation to give him a smoking gun. Well, as you notice, the special counsel in the Watergate era, as I tried to point him numerous times, did not give him a smoking gun. He didn't even go to fruition. They never even did a report. So this is the first special counsel that actually did a report, ever, here. And like I said, the Judiciary Committee should have done what the Democrats have done back in the Watergate era. They could have gotten President Trump on one article for firing uh, Acting Attorney General Sally Yates. And she was a holdover from the Obama administration. But you got to understand your system, Americans, which you seem to not understand. An attorney, Acting Attorney General and their... Uh, subordinates and or bosses are not there to please the president of any party. They're there for your laws, your interpretation. They're the law enforcement arm of the United States government. They're not there at the bequest of a president. They're to say, you jump, and I say, okay, sir, how high you want me to jump? They're not there for that. And Sally Yates, as a good American, proved it. She saw there was a flaw in that little order. It wasn't legal, and the courts would have a heyday with it. And did they? Oh, you betcha they did. President Trump has never understood that. He's always been a bullying guy. And that bank from Germany is going to come back and hunt him in the derriere. But that's a different story. And we are here about the Democrats. So to you Democrats from Pelosi, House Speaker Pelosi, Senator Schumer, the reason you don't want an impeachment is, number one, your Judiciary Committee is sorry. It's not even close to Peter Rodino's Judiciary Committee. Number two, you're scared because the Republicans control the Senate. That is where the problem is. You're scared that the Senate will develop a backbone. Well, look at the Republicans under Richard Nixon. They had the cave. Why? Because the truth was out there. They couldn't stand behind them. When uh, the articles of impeachment were drawn out by the Judiciary Committee, those were serious articles. And... The Republicans knew that they could not vote yes, uh, could not vote no on that, and uh, tell that President Trump, I mean uh, Nixon, was not innocent, if it ever got to that. Nixon knew that, too. When those articles were drawn up on July 27, 1973, heck, look at Nixon. He waited uh, April 8th, and then he's went to every Republican, probably, and found out he had no no backing. The damning thing to him was those tapes that John J. Sirica, who was a pain in the side to him, 
uh, got them to throw out there. And when they came out with an 18 and a half minute gap, well, that was the end of President Nixon, along with John W. Dean III. John W. Dean III didn't go and say, I went to all these committees and spilled my guts because I wanted to. It's just that he didn't like President Nixon. Now, the Achilles heel to President Trump is both Sally Yates and Don McGahn. Those are the two keys right there. You Democrats didn't use them and won't use them. They won't go after him. This is a clear case of impeachment here. Better than Richard Nixon. A hundred percent better than Andrew Johnson. And a thousand percent better than William Jefferson Clinton. Democrats, you have a one-time opportunity here to prove that your system of government works. Big time. Are you going to use it? Hell no. You're going to be the old Democrats and call it Demogate and go between your legs and say, Oh no, we're waiting till 2020. And what will happen in 2020? I'll tell you. The deplorables are out there. You don't know how many they are. And if you have all these divisive guys that you have in your party, you got 20 people running. And you got Creepy Joe, which is the front runner. That doesn't say much for your party, does it? So you see, Democrats, even though I hate Republicans and I hate you guys, Americans should have a better solution to run their government than you two. What are you going to do, Democrats? you got a clear case of impeachment here. This is your alien signing off.